Hello, welcome to Film My Run. We are in South Ease today at the Youth Hostel uh, and the railway station is a little bit down there. South Ease is about 15 miles from your finish point on the South Downs Way 50 mile race. So 15 miles from home when you get to the aid station that will be in this barn here. So today we're going to run 13 miles from here towards Eastbourne. We're not going to get quite to Eastbourne and then we're going to turn around and come back. So it'll be a full marathon uh, by the time we've finished. So the railway line is just there. You'll have crossed over the railway line having gone through the village of South Ease and you'll come along this path here. You'll go up to the aid station there, but then you'll come back down and head this way. So we keep following the acorns all the way. The acorns will tell you that you are on the South Downs Way. Pretty much out of every aid station on the South Downs Way, there is a hill. So your best bet generally is to uh, grab food that you need at the aid station and eat it walking up the hill. You'll find you've got big climbs out of Housedean Farm, which is the one further back from here, then here at South East, then at Alfriston, and then at Jevington, all climbs out of aid stations. So over there in the distance is New Haven, and then further on that way into Brighton, and that way to the South Downs, Seven Sisters. How far are you going? Uh, yeah, we'll see you on the way then. Okay, so two miles out of South East and you hit the radio tower and that means you've got about three or four miles to go to get to Alfriston and then it's on to Jevington. Yeah, people back there are wrecking the South Downs Way too in preparation for the 50 miler which is in about four weeks from now. Do you close the gate behind you or do you leave it as it was found? Right, but, but what if the farmer has left, what if the farmer has left the gate open for a reason? Yeah. And I think it's more likely that a runner in front of you Yeah, because I did a video about um, things to do when you're trail running and I said to close the gate behind you and somebody mentioned in the comments, no, you shouldn't close the gate behind you, you should leave it as it was found. So if it was open, you should leave it open. But my wife is a farmer's girl and uh, she knows. So in general, the rule is still close the gate behind you because it's unlikely that it's been left open deliberately by the farmer. When you say trigger it open, what does that mean? Well, either tie it or put a piece of wood to hold it open. Okay. So we're at a nice high point here, about five miles from uh, South East. Uh, it looks like a barrow as well, it looks like a, an Iron Age fort here. We are arriving in Bo Peep car park. Anyone who's done the Beachy Head Marathon will know this is kind of almost halfway in the marathon where you, you turn uh, down there and you head off back down to the coast and then it's the Seven Sisters all the way home. Um, we are about two and a half miles here from Alfriston. So we're gonna just drop down into the village of Alfriston shortly. In terms of our run, we're about uh, five miles, just under five miles in to our run. Yeah. 
Right, we're 10k in, it's pouring with rain. <laughs> um, we've just come to a junction, uh, we're about to drop down into Alfreston. Uh, on the South Downs Way 50, this will all be well signposted, but again, you follow the arrows there to uh, the South Downs Way, so we're going straight ahead that way there. Uh, so you don't go down there, and you don't go down there, you don't go up there, you go down here. Welcome to the pretty village of Alfriston, uh, which on a summer's day is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the South Downs Way, you'll get to this pub here, which is the George Inn, and you will turn right, and there's an aid station just down there. So, so the George Inn got its license in 1397. Okay, so we go along here, and then we turn down this little lane here, look, which goes to Alfriston Clergy House. Got a feeling that Alfriston Clergy House was the very first National Trust property. I think so. That's your aid station there, yeah. So yeah, the old clergy house, I believe, was the original, the very first National Trust property. And at the end of this little path, we get to the famous White Bridge in Alfriston. Um, that aid station that we've just been to up there, by the way, is not, that's not technically the South Downs way. Uh, you just go that way just to get to the aid station. So we've come out of Alfriston, we've come along this uh, path here by the river and uh, we're now going to head up to the big climb. This is one of the toughest climbs on the South Downs Way 50, out of Alfriston before Jevington. How are you feeling? Yeah, okay. Apart from my usual freezing cold hands. <laughs> So if you're marching fairly consistently up that hill, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, solid marching should get you to the top. But if you're really tired, it can take 45 minutes. So the famous Long Man of Wilmington is just down there. You don't actually see it on the South Downs Way 50 or any of the South Downs Way runs um, because it's, it's dropped down there, but you are literally just a few metres away from it. Right, just another couple of nav points here when we get to this point. We don't go up that hill. We don't go up there. You'll see the sign saying to go on the South Downs Way this way. And then again, there's another little fork, just about 100 metres or so, to go off to the left. So when we get to here, we don't follow that road or path, we follow that path there. So after the last video we did, a few people asked me, do you really think it's worth wearing trail shoes for the South Downs Way 50? Because the South Downs is generally, high, generally fairly benign. However, if it rains like it's rained today, that mud back there is very, very slippy and I wouldn't want to be in road shoes. And the village hall is your final aid station. So Jevington Village Hall here is four miles from home. So if you can be bothered, you can climb up those steps and go and get yourself a final cup of coffee in there. Quite often people miss out that final aid station because you're so close to home, people just want to get it done. So if you can, you want to save yourself a bit of time. Just miss it out, come straight down here and get on, get on your way. And past the old Hungry Monk restaurant, or the, the cottages as it now is, that's the home of Bonoffi Pie there. 
1992, Banoffee Pie was invented in that restaurant. Uh, this is now about a one mile climb out of Jevington and then you're almost home, just a drop down into Eastbourne from the trig point at the top. Okay, so we've reached the top of the final climb um, out of Jevington. And, uh, this will all be really well signposted, but we need to go up this path here to the trig point. Yeah, there will be a marshal on the top here, probably directing you down the gully into Eastbourne. So we're now leaving the South Downs Way and uh, dropping down to Eastbourne. It's three miles from here and you can immediately see how it kind of goes into a v-shape and you know that you're on the right path but you, you will be directed down here so uh, there's no worries about navigation so whilst most of the south downs way is really easy going there are some sections that you will need to be careful on this is a very rocky slippy descent trail shoes really if it's like that are the only option okay so that's the end of our recce of the uh, south downs way 50 uh, from southeast all the way to here in eastbourne we're going to turn around and go back now we've done 21 kilometers so to make it a marathon we'll just run all the way back enjoy the rest of your trip your return journey. Yeah, take yeah, care. Do we weeks. do we kind of know each other? We have met before. What's your name? Ali. Ali runs. Photo girl runs. Photo girl runs. Yeah. Beautiful views over Eastbourne. It's stopped raining. Up on the top of the downs now, uh, it's much, much clearer. In fact, I can see in the distance the Rampian wind farm, which is kind of opposite uh, Worthing. So that's a long way out to see, I can see there. Uh, we are 26 kilometers into our run. We're about to do our big long descent down into Alfriston. Right, we've got to Alfriston. Um, so nearly 20 miles in, in about the same time as we did 20 miles last the other week. So um, we're gonna go to the lovely village store here and uh, grab a drink. Uh, okay, this promises to be the laziest 10K ever. Just climbing out of Alfriston, having been to the shop, we've got crisps, <laughs> crisps and milk. <laughs> and we're just having a little feast on our way up the hill. We might get running again. You never know, it might happen but uh, I can't promise anything. 20 miles done, six to go. That's all you do running for, isn't it? So you can eat loads of crisps afterwards or even during. I don't know, they just make me happy. All right, back at Bo Peep car park. With about five miles to go. Awesome. 38 kilometers done, four to go.
So back at Southeast at the youth hostel here and the farm. And uh, that's it, we've done it. It's taken us just over six hours to do 42 kilometers, 13 miles from Southeast to Eastbourne and back the same way. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it useful if you are running the South Downs Way 50 or even the 100. If you're running the 100, most of that will be done in the dark. <laughs> um, but good luck if you are running and uh, thanks very much for watching. Do please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just click that bell icon as well. You know, all that gubbins, but it just helps me to get to 10,000 subscribers. That'd be great. Thank you very much. Take care. We'll see you again for another Film My Run. Bye-bye. Done. Got there. Well done.